Palmary Collection by Noise Ash. And so before we get started, let me thank Noise Ash and VST Buzz for giving me this opportunity to review the plugins. And let me just say this is a very uh, comprehensive bundle. It is, uh, you know, 10 different plugins. They are very, very unique, very creative. And this is exactly what I like about them. They give you that special little thing, the, the twists, the, the extra stuff that uh, you, you want in order to, to take, you know, whatever track you have and transform it into something else or maybe just add something extra to it. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. If you like what I do, uh, if you like the videos, it, it means a lot to me. Leave comments if you have any questions or any requests. I, uh, I usually respond very quickly. And of course, follow me in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Uh, so you get uh, updated whenever I upload new stuff or when I have new um, uh, deals or discounts or things like that that I advertise from time to time. So let's get started and see uh, the, the different plugins in the Palmary Collection. Palmary Collection, let's get started. So uh, this is a very big collection of plugins, 10 plugins. So uh, I'll try and do this as quickly as possible. I'm going to show you what's in the bundle. And if you have any specific questions or you're not sure about anything, check out Noise Ash uh, website for more information or leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer. So. Uh, first of all, let, let's jump over to the website. And as you can see here, uh, this is the Palmary collection. And there's a little explanation about uh, all these plugins. For example, you have the vocal finalizer, which is an all-in-one plugin for vocals. And uh, we'll take a look very soon. Delay, action delay, it's a double delay. As you can see, we have stereo finalizer. Uh, speaker simulation, very cool. I mean, if you want to take some uh, some track and uh, you know transform it or you know alter it just a bit, uh, filters, action filters, reverb, uh, devastator, which is uh, sort of a, uh, bit crusher slash uh, resolution uh, degradation, uh, heater, it's a saturation plugin, uh, phaser, tremolo, and so uh, a lot. So let's uh, let's uh, go back to our session here. These are the plugins, and I'll show you one by one what they can do, and we'll try and mess around with uh, some of them. So I'm gonna close all these guys here, and first of all, let's get started with the um, yeah. Let let's get started with the vocal finalizer. So I have my main vocal here. This is how it sounds right now without the vocal finalizer. I know you're broken up and yeah I know you're thinking that your time won't come right so uh, this is how it sounds and now let's put in the vocal finalizer you're crying in the pieces laying broken so there, there's a lot going on here and, and I'm sure th this is not the final version and we, we can see that it does have a lot of the things that you would put on a vocal track. For example, you have compressor, EQ, de doubler, delay and reverb. And you can just tweak those to whatever you know, works for your, uh, for your vocal track. So let's, uh, let's do some tweaking here on the floor but you put them back together every time before I know it's like your world is just caved in and every single prayer just wasted but baby there is beauty in the making so no, don't go thinking that nobody, nobody, nobody's gonna love you. Nobody, nobody, nobody's gonna love Very cool. So it's all in one vocal finalizer. Really love it. And yeah, let's uh, let's move on. So um, the next thing that I uh, um, would like to show you is the action 
plugin. So we have four different uh, plugins that are uh, kind of creative in, 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 in their way. So we have Tremolo and I, I'll just show you them together first. We have Tremolo, we have uh, the phaser, filter and delay. So what you, you can see here is that um, all of them are very, very creative, very comprehensive. You have quite a lot of things going on here. So let's, uh, let's see them one by one and, and just feel how they, uh, they work. So I'm gonna just mute those and let's keep our tremolo here. And this is how the main keys sounds. And this is the tremolo, of course, so I, I can add intensity here. And this is the, the panning. So we have both tremolo and panning. And you can see that you can choose the different, uh, um, the, the different waveform for uh, uh, shaping the, uh, the panning or the tremolo itself. And you have a rate. And you can sync it to your DAW. Intensity is how strong you want to have that effect. Right, so that's the idea here. And if you want to have uh, both tremolo and panning in one, that's a great option here. Of course, you can set the input and output uh, volume as well. Next we have action filter. So uh, this is again very uh, creative. So let's uh, let's try and uh, play with that. And uh, just by the way, uh, one very important uh, feature here is that you can use this uh, uh, GUI uh, resizer. So we let, let's do this, and that's even better. And we can close and let's listen. So this is the this is the filter, and as you can see, it, it just moves here. I mean, we have cutoff and resonance, and we also have the the filter modulation waveform and rate and intensity. So I can do anything like even bars, and it will just jump through those. Um, yeah, let's go to Sawtooth. And of course we can introduce a second, um, a second filter here and set the cutoff. And you have different, uh, di different modes here and different uh, filter shapes so you can uh, just uh, play with that all path and shapes as you can see you can even have a custom shape so this is already pretty cool very very useful and we can even try it on the here on on this uh, drum loop. So just for fun. So um, action action filter. So that's the idea here and let's go back to our uh, main keys and we also have a phaser and 
and again we can set the uh, the phase mode we have different uh, wave shapes we have the rate we can do something like this turn on and off the the intensity i mean between zero and 100 percent we you can even add some saturation here so quite a lot of things that you can do with this action filter and last we also have delay and of course this is a, um, a double delay so you have uh, two channels left and right and you can hook them or not you can sync to your DAW or use uh, milliseconds and you can set the feedback differently for each one of them and as you can see you have stereo widening option here dry and wet and let's have everything together Beauty in the making, so Next is our uh, speaker simulation. This is pretty cool. I mean, uh, you, you can uh, throw this on pretty much anything. And as you can see, we have a lot of uh, options here. So um, actually, uh, we'll try it also on the vocal later. But as you can see, we have those uh, megaphones and we have old, uh, you know, vintage phone and we have uh, this uh, guitar amp and jukebox and, and whatnot. So you can use that to just um, shape the sounds and, uh, you know, do uh, some crazy stuff. Of course, uh, you also have some EQs here, limiters, low fi uh, dry and wet. Nobody, nobody. Of course, if you go all the way uh, to 100%, uh, then you, you'll be losing uh, a lot of the information uh, that was, uh, you know, originally in the track. Now, ju just for fun, let's uh, let's just throw this on the main vocal here and um, speaker simulation. Okay, and what did I do? No, yeah, it's not the, the correct place. You're crying in the pieces, laying broken on the floor. But you put them back together every time they So of course I, I would definitely uh, do some automation here and use this in uh, certain parts or maybe uh, double the track and then uh, throw this uh, th this plugin on the doubled track just to to get some um, ambience uh, you know something different in the background very very cool very creative yeah let's uh, let's move on uh, we also have uh, some uh, some very uh, useful reverb so here we have this uh, frozen reverb and what what's uh, cool about this one is that you you have a freeze button when you press the freeze button then the reverb will keep on on uh, you know reverbing the uh, the last phrase that was uh, captured so let's uh, let's try that so th this is the the vocal reverb
Other than that, that's a pretty regular reverb. It sounds great and as you can see, very simple to operate. You have an EQ, you have dumping, you have pre-delay if you want to uh, to have some, uh, some uh, milliseconds at the beginning here. And of course the freeze button. Very cool. Next, let's have a quick look at the delay. So uh, again, you can throw this. Uh, if, for me, the, the vocal delay is uh, usually as a send, but you don't uh, really have to do that. Uh, you can throw this as an insert. And of course, if you're using the vocal finalizer, you, you have delay in that plugin as well. So uh, here is the delay. And as you can see, it's a double delay. You have the left, you have the right and uh, you have uh, all the usual controls even lo-fiing it chorus effect in in that and and what's nice about this you also have reverb so if you want for example for vocals you you want to have the combination of uh, delay and uh, reverb that's a perfect plugin for you So, as a sand, of course, uh, it, it barely is, uh, you know, noticeable. Um, I mean, that was on purpose, but if we take this and uh, throw this on uh, anything else, for example, let's put that on our uh, electric guitar here. And um, action delay. Yeah, I know you Yeah, that's the delay, and we also have heater. That's uh, that's another uh, very cool, very simple uh, saturation plugin. As you can see, you have the amount of saturation, and you see the uh, uh, the tube here, and we also have some uh, treble and bass EQs here, and you can focus on any specific frequency. And you have different types. So uh, that's the heater. If you want to introduce a bit of uh, uh, warmth and uh, saturation into your signal, that's pretty cool and uh, or pretty pretty hot. <laughs> Let's uh, try it. And in order not to uh, introduce too much uh, low end, you can uh, use these uh, low pass and high pass uh, buttons here, the controls here to uh, control the signal. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's just go over and see if we missed anything because I got confused. Though we talked about the speaker simulation vocal finalizer stereo finalizer we'll take a look at that devastator also very uh, very cool and it's a beat crusher or a resolution crusher uh, reverb we talked about filter phaser delay tremolo heater so uh, yeah let's have a quick look at the stereo finalizer and the devastator so uh, stereo finalizer again um we can uh, we can put that for example on uh, on our vocal track or on on our uh, on the uh, keys maybe so we have this uh... let's see what you can do so i can go from mono to stereo to even beyond stereo So there's a lot of things going on here behind the scene 
I'm definitely not going into the details here, but if you have, a, a, for example, a mono track and you want to create some uh, wider effect, you want to stereo uh, finalize it, <laughs> that's a very good plugin for you. And then uh, last but not least, we have the uh, Devastator. Um, so the Devastator, again, uh, it's uh, it's a bit crusher. It's a resolution uh, devastation sample resolution here, and you can see the the image here. So let's uh, try it on our um, loop here. So that's it. That's uh, the Palmary collection by Noise Ash. I hope that was uh, that was informative and that was helpful for you. And if uh, if you have any questions or anything at all, please leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, that's it. So uh, I'll put the links uh, and uh, everything else in the description of this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very very much.